최고 Alright guys, welcome back. I brought Maddie with me today. There you go mate. And um, we're gonna do some jigging and that sort of thing, but first I'm gonna um, show you guys how to set up a drift and that sort of thing. So as you can sort of see from the sounder, I've set up just a bit off our marks. So you don't wanna run straight over your marks, especially if you're chasing sort of finicky fish. Not particularly targeting snapper, but if you're chasing snapper and stuff like that, they don't really like too much traffic and that sort of thing. So. I always pull up off my mark, just a little bit off to the side and I'll set, my, set the boat up and get ready, get all the tackle and that sort of stuff going and um, yeah, just sort of work out which way I'm going to drift so I can set up my line. So basically what I'll do is I'll pull up, always kick my motor hard over to the side because what that does is it just sort of creates like a uniform drift. So if you've got your motor running straight, it just you're at the mercy of the wind and the, the tide and she does you never know which way the boat's going to pull so if the nose pulls to the left you're going to get a totally diff, dr different drift pattern so if, then if it pulls to the right so always kick it one way set it that way for you for the day pretty much just sort of that'll get you a bit more of a uniform drift and as the tide drops down obviously you're not going to drift as much but um then once it changes stick to that same sort of principle and you'll always sort of You'll be able to fish a lot more targeted areas and stuff like that. So we're pretty much ready to go. Maddie's got his jig tied on. We're both fishing a PE3 slow element today. So that's me there. That's an 80 gram um, slow black S. Near the little Osha jigger with PE3 Sunline Siglon uh, and a 70, 70 pound um, Sunline System shock leader. So Maddie's pretty much got an identical setup. So. We're going to drive over, set up our drift. I know which way we're going now, so I should be able to get a nice clean line through it and see how we go. So we've just run back up now. You can see here on the last drift, that was our little setup drift here. We're sort of running up with it there. So I've gone and positioned ourselves down below. We're going to drift through that run of marks there. And that's just a few little rocks and bits and pieces. So I'm going to drop down and see how we go. You normally get them schooled up there. Yeah. Yeah, usually school up and you keep the camera going the whole time. Yeah. First drop. It's not a bad fish either. You got a bit of weight to it. It's giving up. Might be a big trout. Oh no, there's big head shakes there still. This could be the target species, mate. Should I get my line out of here, right? Yeah. Do it. Oh, yes! Mother and all. <laughs> I'm glad that fell off. It's embarrassing. <laughs> target species. Target species. Cool. Platinum snapper. Yeah, only working in the bottom five meters. Yeah. Just normally get them on the edges there. Yeah. Yeah, all, all through here is just like all gravelly and rubbly sort of stuff. So it's um nah, just don't know. Got to give it a crack. <laughs> There's a bit of like harder structure over behind us there. But yeah, this is like the pressure edge where the current's hitting it first. So a lot of your more predatory species will sit out the front of you. Yeah. Always trout flow on. Get all your grasses and stuff like that out on the backside, picking up the scraps. Oh. Bite. Nice. I was going to bring it up, but I'll go back down. And that sound doesn't pick up, um, doesn't pick up fingers real well. So you're sort of looking for real small marks on the sander. 
Oh, yeah. oh. The old red's getting smacked, eh? Something about that colour. Mm, colour, it's the right colour. It's the right colour. Yeah, it's a trout. Oh, no. Yeah, it is. Nice trout. Yeah, damn it. Oh, wow. That was. I did not. Yeah, man. Here we go. Who's the better fish? Oh, wow. There's not even a fish on the sander. I'll bleed him in a second, eh? Get back down. Yeah, mate, get back down real quick. Look at this thing. What's that? Good. I don't know. Something swimming? Oh, ten. <laughs> oh. This thing's got some weight to it. This could be the target. Did you want net? We'll see what he is. It's big, man. Look at it. It's gonna be a cod. Nah, it's a big finger, bro. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's what we come here for. <laughs> yeah, just grab him in the gill plate if you can, please, bro. Oh. Yeah, bro. <laughs> nice work. I got me right to do it. Yeah, man. You catch one. You got him? Yep. Got him. Let go? Yep. Okay. That's what we come here for. Jack. What a fucking crack. That's the target there. Big finger mark, golden snapper, whatever you want to call it. That's a Palms Slow Black ADR there. In the gob. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Good fillets, work, mate. Fillets, mate. Thank you. All right, so when you're chasing fingers, you do tend to pull hooks a lot on them. So I like to run a double, like a twin assist rig. That's a BKK, that's a 4 0 Lentis, which suits that jig perfectly. But yeah, I can't stress enough how important it is. Two hooks on your um, assist if you're specifically targeting fingers. Just like I said, you pull hooks and you've got to pull them up because there is usually a bit of rubble or rock on the bottom, so they will brick you pretty quick if you're not ready for it. So you need to, that need to balance it out because they've got soft mouths. You want to have strong hooks so you can put a fair bit of hurt on them, but not pull the hooks. So that's where I find the doubles. Just you get two points in them and then it's a lot harder to pull the hooks out of them. So just another little hot tip for them. Round two. That's good, second drift of the morning. Double hook up like that. You could almost call it a double hook up. Close enough. I didn't have mine in before you hooked up, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that sound is just starting to light up nicely. Yeah, see, there's not much room to get you on down there, so it's worth playing a little bit. just playing them out a little bit. And always pause it at the top of your jigs when you get to your set. Like, I call it a set once you go five metres up or whatever. Just pause it for a brief second, because a lot of fish will follow it, and then they'll almost run into it. Yeah. When you pause it, no, have a strike there. yeah, you get a bite because they're just like, oh shit, it's in my face, eat. <laughs> yep, good fish. Oh, stale, mate. Oh no. There's actual rock down there too. Oh no. <laughs> this one's gonna take a bit. This could be my inshore ready. Big head shakes, bro. What do you got the three or the four on? Three, I don't have three. a four. 
I only run the three man, so it's a lighter rod, but it's a little bit more finesse and it gets a better action in your jig. Like and you hooking up the shit like that, I'll be putting me four on. You're not going to get enough. You don't get much more power. Not enough to justify the sacrifice in the action. Yeah, fair enough. So the P3, I reckon, is the best. It's just too sporting when you chase some big fish like this. Oh no, don't want to pick up the other camera. No, no, it's all filming. He'll get capture the lot. <laughs> <laughs> you got him up to about 25 oh, meters. Yeah, there to he go, is. I reckon. I just hope it's not a cod. Fucking big. <laughs> Got some weight. Oh, you're pulling me. You mind though, that's right. <laughs> yeah, he's pulling the boat. I might just bring it up, eh? So it we might start getting some colour in a second. Really important is not to go too high on that rod angle because all your power is down in the bottom section of these rods, so you want to keep the bottom bent. That's a big fish, bro. It's a big cod, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big cod. I can feel his teeth rubbing on it. Oh, I don't want you. What are you doing eating his lure that small? Well. <laughs> oh, well. Should be changing that leader. You right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm the cod lord. <laughs> Let's come up on a bommy, have we? Yeah. Should be trout there on the front side. Yeah. Oh, straight on. Oh, it's getting heavier. Random head shakes. Get him on the way down. No, first jig. I'm just going to slowly winch him up. Trout? Yep. Grassy. No, trout. trout. Oh, he'll almost go. Trouty. He'd be legal, eh? Yeah, got it. <laughs> Go to sleep. Hit him. And give up after about three seconds. Yeah. I'll just winch that one up. Yeah. We'll give up a fight pretty quick. Oh, I'll go back down then. Good baby. Another one. Can you go close? Where's that tape measure? Have a mackerel followed. Just measure it, mate. <laughs> right on the end of the knob. 40. Yeah, he's right. He's good. He's dead. It's alright. A few trout. Thanks, mate. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> no, me either. That's Ooh. a fish. Stalemate at the bottom. It's probably a decent one, but by the feels of this. Gonna stop fighting and bam, trout. Yeah. Still fighting? Yeah, I just don't want to pull the hooks out of it. Right, I'm back down. <laughs> Confident it's a nice man. bottom. Yeah. Dude. It was nice and steady. Is that how you got to fight the fingers? Yeah, you can't like load up and like really swing off them. But see, all the power in these rods is at the bottom. Is this another cod, bro? Power hook too. It's spiralling cod. Power hook. Why? I don't know. Back to normal, I must have it wrapped around the gills. Damn, I know how to catch a cod, eh? I'm catching bigger ones than this in the creek. Yuck. Oh, he swam like a rocket too. That's what I like. I'm sure I put him under the... Uh, I'll use him to cut me line before. They'll be somewhere. Oh, there they are. 
Not much there at the moment. Hear him? Yeah, I can hear it. There's a whale real close to us, man. He's going to come up soon. You can hear it, eh? Yeah. Yes. Well, maybe that just blows the whale theory out. Yeah, well, you, you can hear him. Too. Maybe they like the whales. <laughs> hey, whale, whale. I don't know. It's time, 11.30. There's going to be a whale close to us, man. It's going to scare us soon. We're having a whale. Yes, Matty! Oh, yes! So Where is he? You caught an Aaron Peters. <laughs> That's the target species. It's for you, Aaron. And Trev Lord, I'm going to take your title. Winch him up. Heavy. Come on, big trout. It's not fighting. His colour and it's spiralling. It's a trout. It's a nice trout. A really nice trout. Is he hooked properly? No, just. Woo! That thing's awesome. It's what we want. Get away from all my stuff. There you go. Nice bar cheek. Solid one. Haven't changed jig yet, but yeah. Four Olentis. I could feel that other hook pull out as he was coming up, so it's always handy to have the two, but it's what you want. Good trouty. Straight to the esky. That fell straight off. Forty? Forty centimeters? I'll let you have this one. I'm strawberry picking mate. <laughs> it's a trout. Definitely pink. Strawberry picking. Nah, he's too small for sure. Oh. It's a strawberry. All right, we've worked that area pretty thoroughly. We're gonna go check out a little bit further and uh, have another bit of a look. The day's just getting nicer and nicer, so we're gonna push out a bit more and see what we can come up with, but we will come back and have a little look here again once the tide changes, which is about an hour and a half. So we'll go and see what we can come up with out here. Same colour. I didn't see what it was though. 
Still got two hooks. <laughs> Cute. Oh, that was a bite. Yes. It's heavy. That's a bad dog. <laughs> I just fully just teased him hard, eh? What is it? It's a Trevally. Trevally. Yes. Trevally. Let's get out of here. <laughs> That's why he kept coming back so hard too late. Yeah. Don't let the free feed go. Right? Yeah. I reckon it'd be exactly what you're doing. Pinned him on. right in the forehead. Good. That's where you want to hook him, eh? If you're going to hook a fish, do a problem. Straight between the cotton balls. <laughs> Not a girl. These sort of things are fun if you're fishing 20 pound or something, or 10 pound. When you're fishing, expecting something to weigh better. A little bit disappointing. It's got a good feeling about it, that's for sure. There's anything to live down there. Oh my god, that was a big bite, bro. <laughs> it's a big trout, too. <laughs> it is a good one, too. <laughs> he bit so hard, man. I'm keen to see that bite on film. Big. No, you fair hooked the bait. <laughs> Put it on for you. That like, dead set just stopped my rod in, it, in its place. I've never hooked a trout that good. Alright, that's us. We're done. Once the tide changed, it went pretty quiet, so we're going to bail back in while the weather's still half decent. And uh, yeah, go and get some beers. <laughs> Alright, if you've got any questions about what we did today, just hit me up in the comments and I'll get back to you. Cheers for watching.